It's it's normal. I mean, I think uh, Pareko's stick will be able to go from the slot to the board, so um, <laughs> it is a little bit smaller. But uh, you know what? It, it you just play. It's it's a um, you know it's hockey, so um, it'll be it'll be tight for everyone. But uh, I expect it to be a fast game. The ice is great, um, so we're uh, we're excited. Yeah, like even in the summer for me right now, where I train, it's still uh, a little bit of an older rink, like maybe not as, as quite as the oldest rink in North America, but uh, I, I just think we all come from areas where we've played in rinks like this, and uh, it kind of reminds us uh, all the work we put in, uh, all the people that helped us along the way, and it's, uh, it's a cool feeling. That's right, the Calumet community is soaking Craft Hockeyville USA in. It has been an incredible day. The Blues and the Red Wings walked on the red carpet, signing autographs, taking pictures with the fans. Honestly, some even just conversating with fans because it's just a, such a unique opportunity for, the, for all these people, the players, the fans, anyone involved. It's such a great opportunity for anybody who's involved. Um, but following the red carpet, there was a pregame skate this morning, so the Red Wings and the Blues were able to test out the Coliseum ice. Both teams said the ice was a little soft, but that is to be expected. But uh, reporting from Calumet Coliseum for Local 3 News, I'm Peter Curry.